Hi, this is Mike WA3TTS, and we repaired a uh, SSB Electronics SP2000 preamplifier for a friend here, and uh, got a new FET in it. And you can see the response curve. I'll do this this way so the glare isn't quite so bad on the spectrum analyzer there. So it's making a reasonable gain at two meters, and you take the B plus off, and it's nice and level. And power back on and you get the uh, response curve for the helical resonators inside the unit here. Anyway, this had an interesting failure. Uh, they use a triple five timer as a uh, control uh, circuit <coughs> for the RF sensing. And when it failed, what happened was that it reversed logic. It would go high all the time instead of being low on receive and that would not good for uh, uh, life of the preamplifier when you know you go to transmit and the RF uh, sense uh, switches the thing over to uh, turn everything on instead of shut everything off. So you know obviously some things uh, expired in the process. But anyway, we got that repaired, and if we put uh, take our volt ohm meter here. And uh, apply a couple tenths of a volt to the sense diode here, it'll switch. You hear that, and it's straight. And I take it off, it goes back. So it's back to RF switching again. And anyway, a little 50 cent uh, triple five timer uh, took out a $15 FET and everything else down the line. So so that I'd make people aware of that. Nice preamp. I mean, it works really well when it's working, but, uh, you know, if it takes a, a good R, uh, DC uh, spike, and everything goes away in it. So, need to be careful with them. 7-3 from WA3TTS.